Hello, welcome to my midweek meditation. I'm Reverend Devin, and welcome to my channel. This is a meditation that I do for my congregations in Hyde Park, Jeffersonville, and Bakersfield, Vermont. And for those who are tuning in, this is also a meditation that I do to share a little bit of uh, the spirit with anybody who may be interested. And so if you are getting something out of these videos, please feel free to like and subscribe. Please feel free to share these videos with anybody who you feel called to. Um, I love talking religion. I love talking politics. I love talking all sorts of things. And so uh, this is a lot of fun. And if this brings a little bit more dialogue to the world and to my life, I look forward to it. And so this week we are talking about sacrifice. No, I'm not talking about that type of sacrifice. We're talking about sacrificing the things that get in our way of being able to follow God. This week we're going to talk about Luke chapter 14, 25 through 33. So, let's pull up the reading, and once we've gone over that, I will share with you what I think about it all. Our reading today comes from Luke chapter 14, verses 25 through 33. Now large crowds were traveling with him, Jesus, and he turned and said to them, Whoever comes to me and does not hate father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and even life itself, cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry the cross and follow me cannot be a disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not first sit down and estimate the cost? to see whether he has enough to complete it. Otherwise, when he has laid a foundation and is not able to finish, all who see it will begin to ridicule him, saying, this fellow began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to wage war against another king will not sit down first and consider whether he is able with 10,000 to oppose the one who comes against him with 20,000? If he cannot, then while the other is still far away, he sends a delegation and asks for the terms of peace. So therefore, none of you can become my disciple if you do not give up all your possessions. And so I think that Jesus is really asking us to consider when we're planning out this journey with the cross of Christ on our back, You know, what is it that we should carry with us and what is it that we should leave on the side of the road and I think that Jesus recognizes that leaving things on the side of the road for us is a sacrifice you know in life we often have to give up things for the greater good of ourselves or for others maybe you're taking on a diet and you're giving up pizza oh my gosh pizza maybe you're giving up Snickers oh it hurts me just to think of it maybe you are downsizing your place. You just have too much stuff and you're getting rid of things. Maybe you're getting rid of an old table that you're attached to for some reason. Maybe you have all these old photo albums, but you know, you have to get rid of all those precious memories. Jesus is asking us to consider what are the things that we need? What are the things that we don't? And I think that often he does this in the context of wealth. So if we have a neighbor who is in need, how much are we willing to give them? Are we willing to give them money? Are we willing to give them time? Are we willing to give them our effort in order to help them out? And this is the type of sacrifice that I think that Jesus calls us to take on. We are sacrificing the things that keep us from being able to live into God's love to be able to support each other, or to be able to do what's best for ourselves and each other. And that can be really difficult. Let's look about this in the context of what's going on in Vermont. Vermont is a state that in a lot of ways is getting gentrified. It is harder and harder for people who are low income to live here in this state. And that has a lot to do with the fact that homes are getting bought out for higher and higher rates. It has a lot to do with the fact that we have an economy that is revolving around tourism. And a lot of folks are catching in on that. You know, we can rent a home for a short term period of time, cycle that through, get a bunch of money. 
And I think the flip side of our current situation here in Vermont is, well, instead of focusing on making money off of all the folks that want to come here into Vermont, why don't we focus a little bit of our time, our effort, and our resources in making sure that the people who are living here have a place to stay? You know, Jesus would tell us that, you know, it's okay, I think, at least Jesus would tell us, that it's okay for us to enjoy ourselves. But we need to be asking ourselves, is that hurting anybody? Is that taking away from the good of all people? And if it is, I think that that would be one of those possessions that maybe we should consider leaving on the side of the road. If you have three homes that you're renting out in Vermont, maybe if you were to sell two of them to families that are trying to start up and lay down roots in the community, that could help with the situation of us not having enough young people to keep our economy going or having... Um, places where seniors can retire in peace. Maybe it will help lower housing rates so that people who are struggling to start off their life, maybe they got out of prison, maybe they are they got out of college, you know, have the ability to do that. Across the country, I think we are seeing people are valuing the things that lift them up, give them gratification more than the things that they can be doing to help lift others up as well. I think that Jesus, in particular in this passage from Luke, encourages us to ask, what are the things in our lives that are important? And he's telling us that the things that we should be valuing, if we want to follow him, are the things that honor our relationships with father, mother, brother, sister, wife, children, and our neighbors. So, if we are unable to sacrifice those things that gratify ourselves, but harm our sisters and brothers, then Jesus really is telling us that we are overburdening ourselves on this journey to be good people. In order to follow him, we need to be able to sacrifice those things that are harmful to our relationships so that we can focus our attention on the things that heal, that help, and that allow us to love one another better. Because, let's face it, if we're able to do that, you can be guaranteed that others are gonna do it for you as well. And if we're willing to share that gratitude, that love, that spirit, that joy, that Jesus calls us to tap into, then, we have the ability to make it down that road and to complete that journey that Jesus calls us on.